Can around 100 people gathered in Monroe Park for a candlelight vigil this evening in memory of those killed in Tuesday's massive explosion in Beirut, Lebanon. At least 150 people died from that blast. Along with music and moments of silence, attendees also took turns saying the names of those that were killed. Organizers urged people to donate to nonprofits to help with relief efforts, such as the Lebanese Red Cross, Lebanon for Tomorrow, and the Lebanese Food Bank, rather than to the Lebanese government to criticize the current administration. Let's not fix our eyes on what is seen right now, the destruction, the corruption, the greed, but let's fix our eyes on what is unseen, because what is seen is temporary. That's why we're here. And what's unseen is going to be eternal. And that vehicle to eternity is hope, because that's all we got. We are sending hope from Richmond, Virginia to Lebanon. Meanwhile, in Beirut, thousands of protesters took to the streets for what was called a day of judgment. This was a day after the government refused to allow an independent internal investigation into what caused the explosion.